In the world of ultra-class mining, one name stands as the titan of earth moving. Welcome to the birthplace of giants, the specialized assembly plant for the R9800. Before the first steel is cut, every stress point is calculated by the industry's top engineers. Weighing in at over 800 tons, it is a leviathan of steel and hydraulic power. Its appetite is legendary, a bucket capacity of up to 47 point. It begins here. High strength steel plates, up to 120 millimeters thick, enter the workshop. Massive steel beams are staged, ready to become the unshakable undercarriage of the beast. For the digging bucket, only the hardest wear-resistant alloys make the cut. Precision starts with fire. Large format CNC plasma machines slice through the thickest steel with surgical accuracy. No room for error. Laser marking burns the assembly blueprint directly onto the steel components. Moving these giants requires giants. Overhead cranes lift raw tonnage that would crush lesser machines. Not just plate steel. The central slewing joint is a masterpiece of solid casting, built to handle immense torque. Every piece has a destination. Materials are rigorously sorted by assembly module, ready for the welders. The foundation takes shape. The main undercarriage frame undergoes heavy machining to ensure perfect alignment. Automated welding systems lay down kilometers of bead, fusing the primary load-bearing beams into a single solid unit. The slewing platform. This massive deck will soon support the twin engines and the operator's command center. The slewing ring. A perfect circle machined to handle the rotation of 800 tons, day in and day out. To hold the structure together against millions of tons of stress, we drill oversized, high-load bolt holes. Reinforcement plates are fused to the frame where the forces will be most extreme. Invisible flaws have nowhere to hide. Ultrasonic stress inspection verifies the integrity of every critical bond. Precision surface grinding ensures that when massive components meet, the fit is absolute. double the precision. The mounting deck is machined to anchor two. The cuts are clean and sharp, ensuring high precision so that no 3D laser scanning verifies every dimension. Reality must match the digital dream to within a millimeter. Fabrication is complete. The massive modules migrate to the main hall, where they will become one. And the pins themselves, solid forged steel, rated to carry loads of hundreds of tons without bending. The bucket is the fist. It gets armored with wear-resistant steel plates harder than the rock it will crush. Forming a vessel capable of holding 47.5 cubic meters requires earth-shattering pressure. Internal ribs act as a skeleton, preventing the bucket from deforming under thousands of tons of breakout force. A dull blade wastes energy. The cutting edge is machined to razor-sharp industrial tolerances. Before it touches dirt, the bucket must pass the straightness inspection. Even a millimeter of warp is rejected. Good. The giants meet. Boom, stick, and bucket are dry assembled on a test rig to verify fitment and articulation. Lower, lower. We don't wait for the mine to test limits. We simulate the crushing resistance of granite right here in the factory. Structural integrity confirmed. The components are cleared for the installation of their lifeblood, the hydraulic system. This is the beating heart. Ultra high capacity pumps capable of moving thousands of liters of oil per minute. The muscles arrive. The boom lift cylinders, massive hydraulic rams that will lift hundreds of tons of rock. Stick cylinders are aligned and pinned. The geometry of power is locked in. The main control valve. 
This complex block of steel directs the immense flow of oil to exactly where the operator commands. Pressure and return lines are routed and clamped. A vast circulatory system connecting power to motion. Thirsty. The system swallows thousands of liters of hydraulic oil. It's lifeblood for the work ahead. Pressure is raised to the maximum. Even a single drop of leakage is unacceptable at 350 bar. Stroke testing begins. The cylinders extend and retract, purging air and verifying smooth operation. Power is nothing without control. We calibrate the flow distribution to ensure boom and stick move in perfect harmony. Excavation speed is tuned. The cycle times must meet the demanding seconds count targets of modern mining. Simulated load testing pushes the system to max pressure, ensuring it won't falter when hitting solid bedrock. Every fitting is sealed a visual guarantee that the torque specs are locked in and verified. Sealed and certified. The hydraulic heart is ready to pump life into the iron giant. The heart of the beast is double chambered. Two massive Cummins QSK60 V16 diesel engines wait to be awakened. Combined, they generate 4,000 horsepower, enough raw energy to power a small town focused entirely on moving earth. Precision is paramount. Lowering a multi-ton power plant requires the touch of a surgeon and the strength of a titan. Power generates heat. Massive industrial radiator arrays are installed to keep the twin giants running cool under extreme loads. Mines are choked with dust. Industrial grade filtration systems ensure the engines breathe only clean, pure air. A critical link. Massive drive shafts transfer 4,000 horsepower directly into hydraulic pressure. Machine's electrical nervous system. The brain enters the body. Advanced ECU modules monitor every pressure, temperature, and movement in real time. Sensors give the machine a sense kilometers of wiring are routed and secured. A failure here could silence the giant, so protection is absolute. The command center comes alive. Ergonomic joysticks and high-definition displays put 800 tons of power at the operator's fingertips. Signal verification complete. The nervous system is active and communicating without errors. All clear. The first of the twin V16s awakens with a roar that shakes the factory floor. Synchronization confirmed. The twin power plants beat as one, ready to drive the hydraulic leviathan. The foundation of mobility. Hundreds of forged steel track shoes are linked to form the iron path it carries with it. Drive sprockets and rollers are machined from hardened steel to survive the abrasive grind of the mine pit. The track drive system. Massive planetary gears multiply torque, turning hydro first rotation. The drive system is engaged, proving it can cycle the massive tracks without hesitation. Safety is clear. Impact-resistant armored glass shields the operator from flying debris without compromising the view. The paperwork is sealed. The factory phase is over. Now begins the journey to the job site. Access to the summit. Hydraulic stairs and safety platforms are installed, making the climb to the top deck safe and easy. The skin is applied. Protective steel panels enclose the power plant, giving the machine its iconic sleek profile. Stability is physics, not magic. Before it can lift a mountain, the machine itself must be perfectly balanced. Locked in place, the center of gravity shifts and the giant stands perfectly level, ready for work. Tipping moment verification. We calculate the limits of stability to ensure the operator is never at risk. Construction is done, but the finish is just beginning. The machine is stripped of factory grime, prepared for its final coat. Cleaned, primed, masked, the canvas is ready for its true colors. An industrial base coat provides the bond. It's the glue that holds the armor against the elements. Contrast defines the form. The upper works shine in yellow, while the frame is coated in heavy-duty industrial gray. The bucket gets special treatment, an abrasion-resistant coating designed to be sacrificed to the rock. 
Heat seals the deal. The entire frame undergoes a full-scale curing process, baking the paint into a protective shell is earned. The R9800 designation Mines never sleep. High output LED arrays turn night into day, allowing 24-hour operation. Blind spots are eliminated. A multi-camera system stitches together a real-time 360-degree view for the operator. The office is ready. Every detail is polished, creating an environment where the operator can focus for 12 hours straight. Perfection is the standard. A final visual inspection confirms that 800 tons of steel are ready for the ultimate test. Full system startup. The sleeping giant wakes, ready to prove its worth on the proving ground. Vital signs are good. Hydraulic pressure stabilizes at operating levels. The blood is pumping. The arm extends. Unloaded, the boom moves with deceptive grace defying the gravity of its own massive steel structure. First contact. Light excavation testing calibrates the sensitivity of the controls before the real work begins. Simulated mining load. The teeth bite into granite, demanding every ounce of breakout force the hydraulics can muster. Stability verification. Even with a full load extended, the machine swings smoothly, anchored by physics and engineering. Mobility is confirmed. The track drive system propels the mountain of steel over any terrain. Power has a price. Fuel consumption is measured to the milliliter, ensuring the engines run within their efficiency curve. Temperature monitoring. The massive radiators shed the heat, keeping the vital fluids in the safe zone. Mining certification approved. The R9800 has met every rigorous standard required by the global mining industry. Final technical inspection. Every pressure, every bolt, every operational parameter is double-checked against the factory specs. Sealing critical points. The machine is wrapped and protected against salt spray and weather for its upcoming journey. Rotation is locked. The boom is cradled. The giant is immobilized, securing its center of gravity for the move. Direct to the barge. No disassembly required. The fully assembled Titan rolls towards the water. Floating on steel, the R9800 begins its voyage to the mine site, a king traveling on the water. Delivery complete. The R9800 is officially handed over, ready to join the fleet. From raw steel to the ruler of the mine, this is the Liebherr R9800. Face. A wall of blasted rock waiting to be moved. The 6090 takes its stance. The attack. The front shovel drives forward, crowding into the bank with constant force thanks to the tri-power geometry. From the cockpit, it's a video game with deadly consequences. The payload monitoring system weighs every scoop in real time. Even hardened steel surrenders to the rock. The teeth are swapped out right in the pit to keep the cutting edge sharp. When the dust turned to soup, lesser machines bog down. The 6090 just engages more torque and chews through. Hygiene is maintenance. Blasting away tons of caked-on mud prevents overheating and reveals potential cracks. Dust turns to gold. For a brief moment, the harsh pit becomes a canvas of industrial art.